Another coronavirus vaccine is awaiting FDA approval. So how do you know which one is the best one? Exactly. Derek Stahl examines the differences between the five vaccines. New COVID-19 vaccines from Johnson & Johnson, Oxford, AstraZeneca, and Novavax are getting closer to joining Pfizer and Moderna in the fight against the virus in the U.S. Clinical trials show all five vaccines work extremely well at preventing severe disease. In fact, no volunteer who got one of these shots had to be hospitalized for COVID-19 or died from it. They're all effective. They will prevent you from dying from COVID or from getting hospitalized with COVID. I would get any of them whenever they're available to you. When it comes to their abilities to prevent symptoms entirely, there are some differences. Based on early data, the Johnson & Johnson single-dose vaccine is 66% effective. The Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine is 76% or more effective, depending on how the two doses are spaced out. And Novavax comes in at 89% effective after two doses. None of those sound as good as the roughly 95% efficacy for Pfizer or Moderna. But there's some important context to remember. Both Pfizer and Moderna ran their clinical trials before the trickiest viral mutations started spreading. Johnson & Johnson and Novavax conducted trials in South Africa against the toughest known variant, says Dr. Christian Ramers of Family Health Centers of San Diego. It's very good news even that, uh, you know, against the harder um, the, the more invasive mutant strains that we're getting uh, more than 50% efficacy. The five vaccines fall into three categories. Pfizer and Moderna are mRNA vaccines, which use bits of genetic code in tiny fat bubbles to train the immune system. J&J &J and Oxford AstraZeneca are called viral vector vaccines. These use a harmless virus to transport similar genetic code. Novavax is different. Instead of code, scientists inject a fake spike protein. This is just the protein, not the whole virus, so it can't replicate, it can't cause any infections. When it comes to side effects, we only have an FDA analysis on Pfizer and Moderna shots, but it appears the other three cause similar short-term mild effects like fatigue and headache. Slightly fewer people who got the Johnson & Johnson shot developed fever than those who got Moderna or Pfizer. We know even less about the side effects from Novavax, but Dr. Abby Olalade of Sharp Reese Staley doesn't expect any surprises. That technology has been used in other viruses like hepatitis B and HPV. So, you know, we know that they have similar side effects to the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines. Novavax is probably the farthest off. It's expected to roll out in a few months. Oxford AstraZeneca probably won't hit the U.S. until April, but Johnson & Johnson could get approval as soon as this month. Well, that was Derek Stoll reporting.